So just just for the recording, if you guys can introduce yourselves to me and uh, what your uh, position is at Certain Affinity. Sure. This is Moj Degarbi, and I'm the VP of Marketing and Operations for Certain Affinity. Uh, my name is Rich Vogel. I'm VP of uh, Online Services and Technology. All right. Uh, so yeah, just if you guys don't know me, uh, my name is Nick Landero, and I'm the content director of Gaming Mentory. Uh, I know I've reached out to Certain Affinity before. We, we're interested in doing a potential documentary on you guys, but it uh, seems like you've got too much secret stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, just kind of using this interview to kind of learn more about Certain Affinity. It's kind of been a company that's been a uh, behind the scenes for a lot of games that I've, I've know I've played. Um, so if you can just kind of give me a brief history of what you guys have worked on in the past and what certain affinity is all about. Uh, so we, we, uh, uh, we're best known for a lot of the, uh, best, uh, FPS shooters, uh, out there. We've built a lot of the content for those games for call of duty, halo, uh, our founder, Max, uh, you know, he did the multiplayer for all for Halo One and Two and Three, and we've been doing Halo multiplayer for a very long time, as well as uh, Call of Duty, and we we did um, several uh, games that um, right now that we did, we worked on World of Tanks. Um, we're working on currently projects that are also in the big franchises we can't talk about right now, mm -hmm. um, and. We did Left for Dead is another one that we worked on uh, for Valve. So we got a pretty good history of uh, doing action games. Yeah, I mean, we started the company 12 years ago, and really it's a, as a bootstrap startup. So it's been really great to see us kind of grow as a company over the years. And, um, you know, Rich is because we've worked on so many products, you know, we're just kind of rattling off, obviously, a few. Uh, major uh, franchises, but in the history of, of the company, we worked on um, you know, and shipped 29 different products, 12 different franchises, um, which is kind of unheard of. And so we have a lot of experience, obviously, working with so many great partners out there, understand really the AAA space well, and, um, you know, have brought in a lot of our, obviously, subject matter expertise in terms of uh, the FPS space. So we're excited now to be kind of transitioning and really doubling down in terms of our own development. And you're right, um, we're working on some really fun stuff. And, you know, hopefully we can talk about it at some point soon. Kind of going back even a little bit farther, uh, since Max was a big part of Halo 2's development, uh, I'm guessing that he kind of served as a bit of a springboard for certain affinity to be given responsibility of all these big projects that you guys have worked on. Yeah, so he's the founder. He started the company. And um, yeah, I mean, uh, definitely he's known in the, uh, F F you know, in the uh, FPS space uh, himself and has really built quite a bit of uh, credibility and history with his work um, on the, the Halo franchise. And so when he decided to uh, start his own company, um, obviously, he had kind of the history and the reputation out there, but really also the connections to be able to um, start the business. Um, and our model has been a little bit different than your, um, you know, other, uh, you know, game development in that um, we did start the company doing a lot of co-development or development on other people's uh, games and IPs, which is normally not the norm when we think about uh, game development. Um, but it's been great because it really has given us the opportunity to kind of build a lot of the great uh, muscle in internally. And, you know, we always talk about it. And Max has always said that um, we like to be the turtle in the race, right? We want to do it right. And when we think about Halo um, and, and what it is today, um, it took Bungie, you know, 10 years to get to that point. And so it was very important to us that we build the right team and that we took our time with making sure that we have all the right elements so that when it was time for us to really double down on our own development, um, we felt that we had all the different uh, working model to make, make that successful. I'm guessing since you've uh, worked on all these high profile titles, uh, this is kind of giving you guys the, you know, the experience, like you said, to be prepared to work on your own projects. Uh, and I think I read that most of your core team from like the very beginning is still at the studio, even after all this time. Yeah, we had um, we have a core group of folks that have been here since day one. Has been really fun, and it's actually 
uh, interesting for them too to see us. Right now, we have grown to 170 employees. We are the largest independent game developer in Austin, second largest in the state of Texas. So to see us grow from a handful of folks to now 170 people, and now obviously opening our studio in Toronto, it's just a very exciting time, but also I think for folks that have been here through the beginning, um, to them, it's also very interesting and exciting as well because they know what it was like from the bit, you know, day one of the company. Well, I guess I'm curious to know like how it's felt being, you know, you guys haven't really been in the limelight for all these projects that you've worked on. It's always can, been kind of like, you know, behind the scenes. Uh, I think I think I remember the first time I really got saw your guys' logo front and center was on uh, the Master Chief collection. Yeah. Uh, so just, you know, in general, like how is the studio feeling, you know, starting g- getting ready for their prime time? I mean, I think definitely they're ready. I think that there's a lot of, um, obviously, a lot of great uh, work that has been done. And you're right. And sometimes that um, we're not in the spotlight, just given the nature of the work that we do. We're very much behind the scene. And, you know, our job is to make sure um, the partners we work with, their products are successful. And that is the commitment we have with all of our partners. And um, it is really exciting for the team. I think that they feel that we have a lot to offer and show and to be able to showcase it and, and put it out there. Um, all these years of all these things kind of coming together, whether it's in the art side, design side, or even how um, how we think about games. And I think that that's the exciting part and the opportunity. Um, you know, at the same time, I think there are also areas where you know, we're kind of uh, building that muscle, you know, we don't necessarily have done it end to end. So the idea to be able to do it in the scale that we're doing it now um, has also been a, quite a bit of learning and a journey for us. And so, um, you know, I think it's scary and it's also exciting at the same time. And I think they probably feel the same right Agreed. With the opening of the Toronto studio, like what does that mean for certain affinity it kind of as a studio? I know obviously it means you're expanding and, and adding more people, but uh, opening a second studio when you're already one of the biggest in Austin, that's, that's a big deal. Uh, we want to, we want to uh, build um, capability for us. Uh, we felt we looked around all over the place to figure out where we should do the expansion at. And because there's a direct flight from our, uh, uh, from Austin to Toronto, and it's about three and a half hours in length, it felt good about that. And then when we went to Toronto, this huge, huge base of schools to support and the resources available, as well as game companies around there uh, also support that. So there's a good ecosystem for us to mm-hmm. recruit and build from. Made it very attractive. And the ability to get foreign workers from Europe to come in much easier for us versus into the United States visa process right now. So that those three or four factors really contributed to why we wanted to expand. We knew we wanted to expand because Toronto offered us the best opportunity of uh, solving, uh, checked our boxes in the three things I stated earlier. Well, it doesn't hurt to have a great incentive program as it well, does. right? So, Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think to add to that too, you know, we know that we're going to have to expand anyway. Our plan has always been that we're going to continue to grow as a company, frankly, to do these projects successfully. We're always been and will continue to be a multi-project studio. And so um, the need is there. And I think that uh, it was more, um, we knew that um, we had to get the talent and we just wanted to be able to um, cast a wider net in terms of who we, who we could reach out to. And it, again, because of the um, ease of doing business there and of course all these other variables um, it just made sense for us to go ahead and open that office in Toronto and the two offices are going to be working seamlessly together so the intent is that we truly are integrated and it's a second office for us mm-hmm. and the Canadian government actually does a lot to help game studios out there right yes yes they do they do they've been very uh, collaborative with us they're excited to have us there and also we saw a market um, I mean, right now, when we think about the AAA space, um, it's exciting to know that we can add more. Um, and we saw a gap in the marketplace. And we think that, you know, it's an exciting opportunity also for potential, uh, you know, folks that are looking for work. And so it's an area that we can kind of grow uh, the market there for. 
I'm sure Susan's probably going to stop me here, maybe, but uh, you guys haven't really officially announced it yet, but you are working on your, your very first original IP, uh, The Last Expedition. That is one of the okay. games in the way, and that's all we can say at the moment. Sure. My, my question is more around uh, how different does it feel for the studio to actually be working on something that's entirely your own for the first time? Uh, so <laughs> I think it's, we're, you know, we look at ourselves like an indie group. That's what we really are. We're in new development. And that's why also, by the way, we fit well in Toronto. Um, so it's exciting for us to do our own title. We've worked and learned from so many different uh, titles we've worked on, as, as most they pointed out before, that giving us an opportunity to shine the light on us is pretty cool. Uh, getting out of, basically opening up the curtain and figuring and telling everyone who CA really is with our own title, that's pretty cool and compelling to us. And I think the folks that know us um, and know of our work, I think they're also excited to see that, right? They're excited to see kind of our own, um, our own uh, games out there. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's in a way that they can now see it really come to life in, in so many ways. And, you know, the parameters we may have had in the past in terms of, uh, you know, being a co-developer on a game. Along, along with that, you know, uh, working on your first IP, uh, just do you think people are going to like, recall that certain affinity has worked on or i guess when you go to market it you guys can be like well we worked on all these big name shooters uh here's what we're making for the first time that that's got to be kind of exciting yeah absolutely i mean you know you're right like we're under the radar and um yeah we're gonna have to make some big splash and also um you know let people know kind of the history that we had with with uh in the fps space as well as just history with some amazing um you know, amazing games. Uh, but I think at the end of the day, the game has to show for itself, right? I mean, um, you know, and hopefully that will also push and put our names out there. Because frankly, if the game isn't, isn't a success, isn't fun, then, you know, uh, I don't think it matters as much in terms of right. who we are. I think that's where the real rubber mm -hmm. makes the road. So you guys are already 170 people in Austin. How big are you looking to get after you go to Toronto? We're looking to have uh, 60 people up in Toronto. And, and the uh, idea is to have that, uh, the target is to have it by middle of the, middle of the year. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty aggressive growth, but uh, you know, we think we can accomplish it. Uh, I think that's all the questions I have, unless there's anything else you, got, you guys want to mention that I didn't bring up. Um, no, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, definitely we're hiring. So, um, I mean, we got over 40, five plus positions open and we have there are several positions as well already open for uh, Toronto. So um, we want the best talent. So definitely we're excited to expand and grow and hope that people can come join us. All righty. Well, thank you for your time guys. Uh, really excited to see what you guys are working on. I know I've played pretty much every game you guys have probably worked on at this point. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you.